Welcome to Sci-Fi Frontier. I'm Dominic, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Retrograde, the Season 4 episode of The Expanse. So I'm going to start doing these reviews a little bit different. Instead of just like recapping the episode and kind of giving a breakdown of what happened in the episode, I'm going to pick out a, like a key idea out of the episode that kind of like came out at me and kind of analyze it or discuss that one key element in the episode. So one thing that happens in this episode retrograde is we are introduced to the character of Marco Ineros. So if you're ahead in the books and you've read the books, uh, you'll know exactly who this character is and what, and he's going to, and you know, he's going to play a big part in events coming up here soon. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't read the books, well, then, you know, he's going to be part of a big event. They're set him, setting him up for something. So what's interesting about this character is I'm going to bring this back to Dune. This is a character that Frank Herbert warns us about in the books of Dune. He is the charismatic leader who can talk and persuade the masses. He can talk his way in and out of anything. So in this episode, a different faction. Now, I said faction, not fractions. I got a bad habit of mixing up those two words. And I always get the... I always uh, get a lashing in the comments section because of that. So a, a different Belter faction captures Marco and delivers him to Drummer and Ashford uh, because they're operating Mendina Station and now the, uh, the OPA is in an alliance with the inner planets. And uh, so they bring him to his custody. So they're thinking about, they don't know what to do to him. So should they hand him over to the inners or should they just kill him right there? Uh, as a, as is. Uh, so then they decide to uh, keep, the, they decide they're not going to hand him over to the inners, but they're going to try him on their own basis. So three other Belter factions show up. The heads of three other Belter factions. And so they have Marcos, um, they have Marco and Eros in an airlock and basically are on trial. And um, so they're saying like, okay, you've committed all these acts of piracy against the inners and this, that, and the other thing. And so now we're just going to, we're going to have a vote uh, whether to space you or not. So Marco, uh, Marco starts talking and he starts telling them, well, we've all done this. What I've done, we've all done it. We've all, uh, you know, attacked the inner planets. We've all killed people from the inner planets. Uh, why is it that now you, shouldn't you be down in this airlock with me? And um, Ashford says, that's different. The, that was before. Every, things are different now because of the ring gates. And then uh, uh, Marco says, no, things are not different because of the gates. The inners are still the inners. The gates just didn't make the inners nice people all of a sudden. They're, they, they're only nice now because they need us. And as soon as they don't need us, they're going to forget us and go to all these different worlds that we can't even go to because we've all been out in space too long. And um, so he starts to persuade some of them. So then they have a vote. So Ashford votes to space him. And then uh, the uh, one faction votes to have him live. And then there's uh, a woman that's there. She's part of, of another faction. She votes to have him spaced. And then another guy votes to have him live. So they're kind of tied. Uh, two votes to have him spaced. Two votes to let him live. So then it's up to Drummer. So Drummer votes to have him live. And then they they kind of like he they kind of split the shares of whatever profits he made off of the pirating that he got that time, and then they let him escape. So Ashford says, Well, maybe this was a mistake, but Drummer says if we had voted against him, it might have caused civil war among the Belters. But you can see that this is his number one talent. This is his main skill, is he can persuade people. So now he's already persuaded. Two factions to, to side with him and let him live. Even a third with Drummer. You can see that he's starting to, in the course of this episode, he's starting to seduce Drummer over to his ideology, his way of thinking. And he actually, and he did it in the past before with uh, Naomi. He convinced her, he seduced her, and then she helped him. And uh, it ended up uh, co co costing like over 500 lives. It helped him carry out this huge terrorist plot. And so she was seduced by his words. And, uh, and, and this is the thing that I find interesting. This is the kind of leader that uh, Frank Herbert 
talks about is the charismatic leader that the masses give up their power to. And you can see that slowly but surely people are giving up their power to Marcos. What I think, I don't know if they're going to do it in the series, but what I think would be an interesting twist to this series is if it turns out that Marcos uh, was her, let himself get captured and brought to this vessel just so he could convince more factions to be on his side. That would be an interesting twist if he was like that intelligent that he and that confident that he knew he could talk his way out of certain death and actually get more people on his side and increase his power base. So a really good episode, really good episode. Watch this one. This is a really good one. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section and I will see you at the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers and thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.